Hi everyone. I want to start off by wishing everybody a good game tonight. Texans vs. Steelers. Rock on. Go Texans. Um, I have an experiment. I actually wanted to see if there's any possible way that you can supposedly detect pregnancy. Not that I want to find out for myself, but if you can detect pregnancy um, through household items like I've read about. So I was kind of curious and I wanted to do some experimentation. So essentially what we have here is we have white vinegar, bleach, and white toothpaste. And from what I've read, each reacts differently with urine. So the white vinegar, when you pour the urine into the white vinegar, if it changes color and maybe possibly fizzles a little bit, supposedly you're pregnant. With bleach, if it reacts by a fizzle, or a bubble, like bubbles, fizzles, kind of foams up. Supposedly that also means that you are pregnant. And then with white toothpaste, it has to be white. Um, apparently if it turns blue, that means you're pregnant. Now, I have my tubes tied, so I would not be expecting to be pregnant. Again, this is just a simple experiment to see if in fact it would work. And the only reason being is because I had a period for about two weeks, which is kind of considered to be a little abnormal. So I was, one, I was experimenting also to see if pregnancy tests would detect, you know, say like a miscarriage from the HTC, or I'm sorry, the HCG hormone. So let's find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little bit of urine for starters, into the white toothpaste. And I'm not sure exactly how long it's supposed to take, but the toothpaste has to be white from what I've read. So we will see what happens. And here is the bleach. And so far, nothing has happened. And then we get to the white vinegar. Now, of course, you know, urine's going to be yellow, so I'm looking for, you know, a significant change. Like with toothpaste, it's supposed to be blue. Anyways, as you can see, there's really no fizzle. So, if there were, in fact, a miscarriage of some sort, either it would not have detected it, but the probability is it may be something else. But I thought this would just be a neat little experiment to see what would happen. And sometimes, from what I've read, um, the toothpaste can take a little bit longer. You can also do this with pine salt. And it's supposed to react, but being as how with the bleach, I mean, there really isn't very much of a reaction, so I'm going to, so this is what I'm going to gather from it. I'm going to gather that I'm probably good. Um, something maybe you can try at home. Post your results. Hey, if you try this and you are pregnant, you know, comment, let me know what happened. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Why not? 
why not play around with stuff like this? So anyways, so this is my finding. Either I'm not pregnant, which I hope I'm not. I have my tubes tied. Or it doesn't work. So we'll see. If you're pregnant, I highly recommend trying it. Post your results. You know, comment below. Let me know what happens. Fun stuff, right? Anyways, again, happy Texans. Let's go. Wishing everybody a great game. And I will see you the next time. I'm sure I'll do some more experimentation because, hey, it's fun. Why not? Aside from that, if you need graphic designs, videography, I do video compilations, I do wedding announcements, I do save the dates, I do birthday and party invitations, birth announcements, you know, you name it, I do it. I'm a graphics designer. I can also build websites, so um, if you want to find me, aside from the YouTube page, facebook.com um, forward slash Ashley Nicole Burleson. You can also find me on Twitter um, at Glitzy Gloss, which is G L I T Z Y G L O S S. And same thing with Instagram, it's Glitzy Gloss, G L I T Z Y G L O S S. So holler at me and let me know what you need. And we also do event planning birthday parties, you know, weddings. We even do, you know, memorial services and all that good stuff. All right. See you next time. This is Ashley signing off.